Boston Dynamics has just unveiled a transformation in humanoid robotics with the introduction of their latest creation, the all-new Atlas. This fully electric model seems to represent a major leap forward from the original Atlas, pushing the boundaries of how robots can move and interact in human environments. But what does this mean in a world where the line between human and machine is increasingly blurred? The concept of the uncanny valley where humanoid objects that appear almost, but not exactly, like real human beings cause eerie or unsettling feelings, is critical to understanding the public's reaction to such advanced robots. Let's explore how most prominent robots and the new Atlas may be placed in the context of the Uncanny Valley. In the context of the Uncanny Valley, Disney's approach to robot design cleverly sidesteps the discomfort typically associated with humanoid robots. Disney's robots are designed to be clearly identifiable as characters rather than attempts to replicate human behavior and appearance precisely. This strategy places them in a part of the Uncanny Valley chart where acceptability is high because they do not aim for the hyper-realistic mimicry that can trigger unease. By maintaining a distinct separation from true human likeness, Disney's characters are easily acceptable to audiences, fostering engagement and enjoyment without the eerie feelings that more lifelike robots can provoke. As realism in robotic design increases to closely mimic human behavior, we encounter advanced humanoid robots like Tesla's Optimus, which begins to approach the edge of the uncanny valley. The uncanny valley, first introduced by the Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori in 1970, refers to a hypothesis in robotics and human aesthetics, suggesting that humanoid objects, like robots or animated characters, that almost but not perfectly mimic human appearance and behavior, can evoke feelings of unease or discomfort. To mitigate the unsettling effects commonly associated with this phenomenon, Tesla has adopted a design strategy for Optimus that includes a faceless, human-like head coupled with human-like movements. This approach attempts to maintain a balance between relatability and distinguishability, avoiding the deep discomfort that can occur when robots appear almost, but not quite, indistinguishably human. By foregoing facial features, Tesla aims to reduce the eeriness that can accompany highly realistic humanoid robots, thereby aiming to keep Optimus in a more acceptable range within the uncanny valley spectrum. But where does the new Atlas sit in this valley? Let's watch its short demonstration video first. The new Atlas, with its broad range of motion allowing arms and head to rotate 360 degrees, edges closer to this uncanny valley, presenting movements that exceed human capabilities. This evokes a sense of eeriness, as the robot is designed to resemble a human yet displays capabilities beyond human norms. It can rise from a completely motionless state to a full standing position in an extraordinary manner, and unnervingly, it can rotate its head in a full 360-degree movement while looking at us. When the realism continues to improve past the uncanny valley, acceptability tends to increase again as they become indistinguishable from humans. Comparatively, a Meka, designed to be the world's most advanced human-shaped robot in terms of realistic facial expressions and interactions, is often perceived as more acceptable to human sensibilities, designed to comfortably fit within social contexts. Amika is designed by Engineered Arts, specifically as a platform for development into future robotics technologies, focusing on human-robot interaction. However, the uncanny movement design of the new Atlas was intentional. Boston Dynamics has developed this new model with the capability to perform tasks in ways that humans simply cannot, moving with a range of motion that human contortionists could only dream of. This isn't just about mimicking human actions, it's about optimizing performance for efficiency and effectiveness in industrial and logistical environments. Boston Dynamics has emphasized that while Atlas may look human, its design is fundamentally aimed at achieving superior performance in tasks that are typical in industrial settings. This includes everything from lifting heavy loads to performing repetitive tasks with precision and speed that outstrip human capabilities. On the other hand, Tesla's Optimus is being developed with a broader vision in mind, 
one that includes functioning in a domestic environment. This could mean anything from doing household chores to providing assistance with day-to-day -day office activities, reflecting a significant shift towards integrating robotics into personal spaces. As we watch these developments unfold, the question remains, how will society adapt to these advanced machines? Will the utility of robots like the new Atlas and Tesla's Optimus outweigh the eerie discomfort of the uncanny valley? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. Robotics is not just about replicating human abilities anymore. It's about transcending them, creating a new paradigm in the way we work and live. Please let me know in the comments whether you agree with my placement of the robots in the valley and how robots will shape the future. I would also recommend you to watch my other video about Figure 01, which is another very extraordinary robot revealed very recently. If you found this video interesting, please also like the video and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. See you next time.